SpaceX CRS-10, also known as SPX-10, was a Dragon commercial resupply service mission to the International Space Station which launched on 19 February 2017. The mission was contracted by NASA as part of its Commercial Resupply Services program and was launched by SpaceX aboard the 30th flight of the Falcon 9 rocket. The mission ended on 19 March 2017 when the Dragon spacecraft left the ISS and safely returned to Earth. Operations history CRS-10 is part of the original order of 12 missions awarded to SpaceX under the Commercial Resupply Services contract. As of June 2016, a NASA Inspector General report had this mission manifested for November 2016. The launch was put on hold pending investigation of the pad explosion in September 2016, with a tentative date no earlier than January 2017, subsequently set for 18 February. On 12 February 2017, SpaceX successfully completed a static fire test of the Falcon 9 engines on pad 39A. An initial launch attempt on 18 February 2017 was scrubbed 13 seconds before its 15 hours 1 minute and 32 seconds coordinated universal time launch due to a thrust vector control system issue in the rocket's second stage, resulting in a 24-hour hold for launch no earlier than 19 February at 14.39 coordinated universal time. The faulty actuator was repaired at the launch pad overnight, and the rocket was returned to vertical approximately six hours before the scheduled launch time. CRS 10 was launched from Kennedy Space Center Launch Complex 39 Pad A on 19 February 2017 at 14.39 Time, the first launch from the complex since STS 135 on 8 July 2011, the last flight of the Space Shuttle program, and the first uncrewed mission from the site since the launch of the Skylab Space Station on 14 May 1973. This complex is also where the Apollo missions were launched. Following the successful launch, the first stage proceeded through a three burn flyback and landed safely in landing zone 1, the first daytime landing of a Falcon rocket on land. The Dragon spacecraft rendezvoused with the International Space Station on the 22nd of February, but its approach was automatically aborted by an onboard computer at 8:25 coordinated universal time when a data error was reported in its navigation system. This is the first rendezvous abort by a Dragon spacecraft. The problem was traced to an incorrect data value in the spacecraft's global positioning system, critical to operations as this data informs the vehicle of its relative position to the space station. The abort resulted in a 24-hour hold on its approach. The error was corrected in this time, during which the spacecraft entered a race track trajectory around the station to reset its approach. An error-free second attempt resulted in Dragon being captured by the station's Canadarm2 on 23 February at 10.44 Coordinated Universal Time, with berthing to the Harmony module taking place a few hours later at 13.12 Coordinated Universal Time. This abort was later revealed in a NASA Inspector General audit to have resulted from incompatibilities between NASA's and SpaceX's software development processes. The CRS 10 mission ended on 19 March 2017. 
The Dragon spacecraft was detached from the International Space Station by Canadarm2 on the 18th of March 2017 at 21:20 coordinated universal time, moved to a stow position below the station where it stayed overnight and was released at 9:11 coordinated universal time. Dragon performed three departure burns to move it away from the station before conducting a final de-orbit burn at around 1400 coordinated universal time. The spacecraft splashed down in the Pacific Ocean at 1446 coordinated universal time, about 320 kilometers, 200 miles southwest from Long Beach, California. Dragon returned 1652 kilograms, 3642 pounds of material from the ISS, including research samples, science and crew equipment, and spacewalking hardware. Also removed from the station was 811 kilograms 1,788 pounds of external payload—including a MISA module, the OPALS experiment, and robotic refueling mission demonstration equipment—which was placed in Dragon's unpressurized trunk and disposed of when the trunk section burned up on re-entry. Topic: Primary payload. NASA contracted the CRS-10 mission from SpaceX and therefore determined the primary payload, date, time of launch, and orbital parameters for the Dragon space capsule. CRS-10 carried a total of 2490 kilograms, 5490 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station, including 1530 kilograms, 3373 pounds of pressurized cargo including packaging and 960 kilograms, 2116 pounds of unpressurized cargo. External payloads on the CRS-10 spacecraft are the Sage 3 Earth Observation Experiment and its Nadir Viewing Platform (NVP) and the US Department of Defense's Space Test Program Houston 5 (STPH-5) package including the Raven Navigation Investigation and the Lightning Imaging Sensor. Some science payloads include ACME, LMM Biophysics, ZBOT, and Circle, Cool Flames. The following is a breakdown of cargo bound for the ISS. Science investigations, 732 kg 1,614 pounds Crew supplies, 296 kilograms, 653 pounds. Vehicle hardware, 382 kilograms, 842 pounds. Spacewalk equipment, 10 kilograms, 22 pounds. Computer resources, 11 kilograms, 24 pounds. Russian hardware 22 kilograms 49 pounds external payloads Sage 3 527 kilograms 1162 pounds STPH5 433 kilograms 955 pounds topic Trial of new flight safety system SpaceX's CRS-10 launch was the first operational use of the Autonomous Flight Safety System on either of Air Force Space Command's eastern or western ranges. AFSS is replacing the ground-based mission flight control personnel and equipment with onboard positioning, navigation and timing sources and decision logic. 
The benefits of AFSS include increased public safety, reduced reliance on range infrastructure, reduced range spacelift cost, increased schedule predictability and availability, operational flexibility, and launch slot flexibility. The system consists of software developed by NASA, the Air Force, and DARPA, to which SpaceX adds an additional software layer customized for its rocket. AFSS has flown on 13 previous Falcon 9 missions in a so-called shadow mode for testing. Topic: See also Unmanned space flights to the International Space Station List of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches <laughs> <laughs>